Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a review on the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Inferno. So, of course, in my last video, I took a look at Transformers Rise of the Beast Bumblebee, and that review is up, so you should definitely check that out. So today, I'll be reviewing this Predacon right here. So before I get into the actual review itself, here's the box. A bit damaged, but it's okay, because I'm probably going to throw this box out. Legacy Evolution artwork on the side. On the back, you got the information, 26 steps, and you can scan that if you want to. Uh, more artwork of Inferno himself. And if you hear something, that's the laundry room in the background. So, yeah, that's all for the box. Now, where did I get this guy? I got him at Walmart, and you might be able to find him at your local Walmart as well. And he'll probably run you about $35, which I think is a little overpriced, but it is what it is. So, needless to say, I think he's an awesome figure, you know. Nice size, he's a Voyager class, you know, obviously. And he's got a lot of articulation, so let's go over that. So articulation wise, you get articulation in the head. Hold up, if I can get this to open, give me one second. That opens, you get a bend at the elbow. You get a little slight wrist swivel. These things do move, of course, they do move on their own. These move as well. These do, well, they kind of move, but not much, okay? I like this about him. Yeah, you can stick your finger in there, but I don't recommend you do that because you don't want to cut yourself. So let's close his mouth back up, okay? The antenna do rotate. I mean, they do move. It's kind of weird. Um, he's got his weapon. And same articulation in this arm. In the leg, you can kick kick out the leg. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean for that to come up. Um, you can bend at the knee, obviously. As you can see, he has a knee bend. And you get um, a foot swivel. Let me just demonstrate that. Give me one second. Swivel on the foot. Just, you can turn the leg. So that's that. These things on the back. These on the back, they do rotate and you can flip them in and out and stuff like that. You can flip this up. You can flip this down, you know. This is all part of the stuff for the transformation, though, you know. Here's this weapon, you know, a little four-shot gun. And you could also plug it in to the back, this part right there, if you wish to. And he also has a hole, if you could see that, on his back where you can plug that in. So I won't be transforming him for the sake of the video's time, but... I will show some photos of how he looks like in his ant mode. Here he is with his wave mate Armada Starscream. Inferno's a slight bit taller than him. Okay. And here he is next to Legacy Blitzwing. They, well, Whatchamacallit might be a little bit, I have his head turned, but whatchamacallit might be, Inferno might be a little taller. That's kind of sad, though, because this guy's a leader class and he's a Voyager class, but they, they nearly the same height. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but still, it's very expensive. So overall, my final thoughts on this guy is that I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10, okay? I think he's a great figure. You have plenty of articulation with him. And honestly, compared to like other Beast Wars figures or Beast Wars characters, Inferno was taller than some of them in the TV series. So do I recommend that you buy this? Yes. And I would say right now, maybe try to find him in stores because when I was on the internet the other day, I noticed that on places like Amazon's website, 
certain parts of eBay, even Walmart's website, this guy started running for 40 to 45 to 50 dollars or more. And personally, I don't think you should pay any more than retail price for him. So if you see him inside of Walmart, Target, wherever you go to buy your Transformers toys, definitely pick this guy up, you know. I think he came out sometime around November of last year because that was also when Armada Starscream had released, but you can get him still. And I think Hasbro Post website ran out of stock on him. And along with that too, I heard that there is a Legacy Generation Selects Antagony, which she uses the same mold as him. I think she's just basically a repaint and she comes with like some special mask or something. That's what I saw on the stock photos. I don't know too much about that. Leave a comment below if you know more about that. So this was the review on the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Predacon Inferno. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and bye. Hear me out.